Okay, here we go. Indoraptor. Wow. Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Huh. Wow, nice job. Look at they've even got the Benjamin Lockwood. They got the spines on the back of the head. And on the flank. They got it. They did it. It's moving on all fours. Message from Dr. Dua. When it stood up on it. Yeah, look, it's standing up on its hind legs there. So I don't know how they did that. I mean, I don't know if the code was already there for that. Maybe they used like a Parasaurolophus as a basis for this or something. Something that does switch between four and Message two legs. Because something like the Indoraptor, there was nothing like that in Operation Genesis originally. This is a. Whoa! Whoa, cool! Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Brilliant. Yeah, look at that. That kicks absolute ass. <laughs> Aww. The Indoraptor has a playful side. Who knew? Well, I suppose that wasn't playing. That was rolling. It looks cute, but it's just had, probably had an itch. <laughs> Again, like it's not, it's not actually black. It's got all kinds of shades in there. There's a lot of detail when you get up close. You can see its eyes glinting away there. Message from Doctor Dua. Wow, this mod just doesn't stop surprising me. It's so good. I really like this. The the Indoraptor was a huge surprise to me. Um, I really enjoyed it in Fallen Kingdom. It's probably one of my favourite things about that film. I love the inclusion of it. And the whole haunted house with the terrifying monster dinosaur thing in it was pretty cool. Oh, great. We've got another rampage. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I found it quite cool. Uh, whoops. From Benjamin Lockwood. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sedate, please. Where's the other Allosaurus? Yeah, there we go. If one goes, the other's always right behind. Uh, just a sedate. Okay. Ah, oh, look at it. Look at it. I wonder how it looks how from the... Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Yeah, he's just mooching around in there. Ah, uh, so we've started to get some of the really big, powerful carnivores into the park now. It's exciting. They look great. They're tons of fun. They're extremely scary. And it's only a matter of time before I have a storm and they all go ballistic. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. I need to start putting some security into the park. Let's do that next. So, this is happening right now. <laughs> Message from Dr. Dua. Not sure which enclosure he counts as being in. Uh, probably painful, though, to be there. Good reason for the Stegosaurus to be terrified, anyway. Um, do you know what I haven't seen in this game yet? I haven't seen Velociraptor. Aha. Ooh, wow. Oh. I try to stop myself from saying wow every time something comes out of the thing. I sound like Owen Wilson. Wow. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm just blown away every time. And you can see why. Look at this. Look at the quality of that. Look at the colours they've used in this texture. It, it's just outstanding and I can't get enough of it. Baryonyx looks so nice. Just brilliant. Message from Benjamin Lockwood. And again, that model. I love the fact that nothing seems to be reused. Every model seems to be completely unique. This doesn't look in any way like the Spinosaurus model that I've seen. Message from Doctor Dua. They haven't repurposed it. You know, they haven't just taken the fin off or anything. It's got its own model and shape, based directly on the one you see in the film. And they seem to be based, you know, size-wise, they're, they're modelled on how they appear in the film as well. And I'm sorry, I'm thoroughly enjoying looking at my Barry Onyx here, but we're going to have to go and... <gasps> Not my rug ops! No, don't you dare take my rug ops from me! <laughs> Love my little rug ops. I think the other one did die, though, didn't it? Yeah. Down to just one. Message from Dr. Dua. Uh, it's a sort of Message uphill struggle we've got going on in the park now. Oh no, not the T-Rex as well. Wow. That was quick. 
This is a complete disaster. What You're telling me that? the Indoraptor's fine, actually. Stuck in the wall, but fine. <laughs> the park's pretty much finished at this point. Like, there's not much left to do. We've we've built it quite big. I've got this Message little from Benjamin enclosure over here where I'm going to breed dinosaurs and move them into the enclosures elsewhere because I've run out of uh, uh, hatcheries. I'm not allowed to build any more. So uh, I've got an empty enclosure just here actually. It's hard to organise things and get on top of what's going on because I'm constantly plugging Message from Doctor Dua. Uh, leaks, as it were. Because everything's going wrong everywhere else. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. There's no, there's no food in here for you, is there? We need to, we need to get you moved into your enclosure. So sedate. Yeah. Uh, I, mm, I don't think there's really any other species that I'm going to be able to get to put in here because we're kind of at our limit now. Even though we can just keep breeding more and more dinosaurs, we can't really mix them. Uh, not the carnivores, anyway. So, from, Dr. from this point on, I'd like to show you everything else that's available in this mod. I'd like to show you the other species that can be bred, but I'm going to have to do that, I think, in Site B mode. Why did you all bunch up over this end of the exhibit? Look how much space there is in here for you. Message from Benjamin Lockwood. That said, actually, since I moved them to their own enclosure, these guys have been perfectly fine. So I think it is an issue of what company they keep. Uh, storm? storm? Oh, the weather's just changing. <laughs> so yeah, that I think will do it for the park. That's where I'm going to leave it for now. And I will see you in Site B for a quick tour of everything else that the uh, that this game, that this mod, has to offer. <laughs> Welcome back to Site B mode. Uh, I've built a flat island with bugger all on it, just to make it easier for us to see the dinosaurs and enjoy them a little bit. So, Archaeornithomimus. That's very cute. Oh, and in the background, Archaeornithomimus was mentioned by name by Claire in Jurassic World. And Gallimimus, very faithfully recreated here. They're quite similar, but that's okay. <laughs> Archaeornithomimus fans out there will be happy to see their favourite dinosaur represented. And they seem to get on the right together, I think. Yeah, yeah, happy. Happy Archaeornithomimus. <laughs> I just like saying that. Archaeornithomimus is great fun. Now, how... Hang on, wait. This, is, this one should be... Uh, interesting. So the little crown up here rep tells me that that one is the alpha of its pack. The fact that these guys are moving together and only one of them has the crown suggests to me that they are actually herding. That they're treating each other as... You know, kin. So that's interesting. I like that. They, they you know, the, the species overlap a little bit in terms of how they interact. Now we saw Pachycephalosaurus. We saw Sticky Moloch. That's it for the small herbivores. Let's see what's next. <laughs> so this is a Patasaurus. Now then. This is not how the Apatosaurus looked when I, um, well, when it, when it comes to you in the mod. Uh, when it, the standard Apatosaurus in the mod is a dark blue colour. But what I've done here, as I said to you before, this game allows you to uh, change the skins. Some of the dinosaurs have alternate skins. So this is the DPG Apatosaurus. If you go on the DPG website, um, you can see a, an Apatosaurus that is this colour. It's got kind of a greeny colour to it, which I think is really nice. So I've decided to show this one off. And here is Brachiosaurus. And that looks really good. I'm so glad that we've got this because as I do... Look, like I said before, look, I like Jurassic Park 3. I'll be honest. I enjoy it. It's fun. But... I think the thing I like least about Jurassic Park 3 is the redesign for the Brachiosaurs. They just look terrifying. They're not nice to look at. They're a bit weird. I don't mind the sort of pattern, but their faces are creepy. So I'm glad that there's a standard Jurassic Park style Brachiosaurus now available in this game. And it looks really, really nice. In fact, Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus together look brilliant, don't they? 
Very cool. I like the little sound it makes, that little hum sound. It's straight out of Jurassic Park, that sound effect. Hey, look at that! So that's, oh, that's movie accurate. I mean, it's dead on. I like this model, I like the shape of it. I'm not sure about the back legs going through the model, that's a bit of a shame. But understandable nonetheless. Oh, it's really good looking. And what's that in the background? <laughs> Madness! That's what? Okay, so what we have here is a Stegoceratops. It's another hybrid. Ah, oh, God, look at it. It's beautiful. Wow. Yep, I like that. <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy looking, but then again, you know, hybrids. What, what can I say? I don't like it as much as Triceratops. I'm not... You know, I mean, wait, did that just attack the other one? No. Um, yeah, the hybrid thing, I don't mind, but I find the Stegoceratops just to be straight up silly. And I'm glad that we didn't actually end up with this in the movie. Apart from a little cameo on a computer screen, but we never saw a live one. Uh, they were going to do it. They did make the model for it. And Stegoceratops has its place in the franchise lore. There, is, there are toys of it, and it shows up in a lot of the video games. So I've got no problem with it. Uh, they've actually done it quite good justice with this model as well. The way the horns kind of curve outwards like that is common in a lot of the different versions I've seen of this. Several of the versions I've seen of this don't have the nose spike, uh, though. So it's interesting that that's there, but I presume that this is based on a particular version that does. Maybe this is... because uh, I don't actually know. This could be based on Jurassic World the game, which I don't have. I've got Jurassic Park the game, the one that's on mobile. Uh, I never got on with the whole dinosaur battling system. I just couldn't be bothered with that. I just wanted a park simulator. I don't want to fight the dinosaurs. I want to, you know, have a good time doing this, basically. <laughs> wow, look at that from the front. Triceratops is criminally underused in the franchise. There's quite a lot of dinosaurs that just sort of show up in uh, the films but never really get to do anything. It's hard when you've got so many species that people want to see to give them all, you know, fair screen time. Uh, but Triceratops is a is a very popular dinosaur, and it's a shame that we haven't seen one properly, like, have a standoff against a car or something. Maybe we'll get that in Jurassic World 3. <laughs> and I think this is loose... Actually, no, it's not based on anything. <laughs> that doesn't look like the one from the display at the Lockwood Manor. I'm not sure what that's based on. But it's cute, and I think it's using a new model as well. It's definitely a new texture. It could be a new model. I really like it. I've got Dilophosaurs running around all over the place. Baryonyx has long been amongst my favourite dinosaurs. Obviously adding carnivores, by the way, to the mix is going to panic the herbivores quite a bit, as you can see. <laughs> Props to whoever drew those smiley faces, by the way, you nailed it. <laughs> so this next dinosaur is classed as a small carnivore by this mod, which is a bit weird, because Sukumayamus were massive. <laughs> we haven't seen this in the franchise at all, in the movies, but Sukumayamus has been depicted on the website, and mentioned as being inside the park, and it's one of those ones that I would really like to see. We've seen Baryonyx, we've seen... oh, look out, look out, look out! Whoa! <laughs> that Apatosaurus means business. Look out. Oh, this does not look good for the Suko. Get away from that trike. Get away from the trike, it's going to happen. Dude. Dude, what are you doing? No. No! <laughs> no! Bonk! Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, we're... Mm. <laughs> I don't think the Suko Limus is going to last very long. Uh, no! So yeah, this depiction of it is based on the artwork we've seen for it in various places. It's also been featured in Jurassic World Evolution, the game. And this skin is based on, on those appearances where it's like this rich dark blue. I love how vivid this is. And if you look really closely you can see sort of little glints and other colours in there as well. Look at that jaw. And again, like I said before about the Baryonyx not being a rehash of the Spinosaurus, this isn't um, you know, they haven't used the Spinosaurus model or the Baryonyx model. This is a completely unique, completely bespoke model just for the Sukumimus. And it looks absolutely brilliant. 
In fact, that might be my favourite one. It's so... Look how slender it is. Wow. Yeah. Well, looks like the attack has abated somewhat. They're going to leave him alone, which is nice. The Sukumimus' health has replenished a little bit. So let's see about bringing out some of the large carnivores. I think we've seen most of them. It's Actually, let's see what's left. So, large carnivore, Allosaurus, Indominus Rex, Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, that's it. And we've seen all of these in the main park. Baryonyx, we got at the last minute there. Carnotaurus, very cool. Dilophosaurus, Dimetrodon, Indoraptor, Metriacanthosaurus, Rugops, and Sukumimus. You can see against the person there, the image, you can see it's pretty massive. But it's still classed as a small carnivore. I find that puzzling. And most puzzling of all, there are no Velociraptors. It's me again! Hi! Scare from the future. I was just going to say that with regards to the raptors, just because they're not in this playthrough, they're not in the mod that was sent to me as far as I can tell, but that doesn't mean they're not going to be in the mod. In fact, I'm pretty sure they've been in earlier versions of the mod. And... Uh, from what I understand, they, they have different versions of the Raptors and the Raptor Squad and so on. So I think that they are working on implementing Raptors, Blue in particular, and that will be in the mod at some point in this expansion pack. And I suppose it would be remiss not to have the Raptors. They are very much one of the main characters and symbols of the Jurassic Park franchise. But uh, at this point in time, they're not here. But that's fine. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on this uh, modification as it develops and grows, as I suggest you do too. And if things like that do get implemented and when there is a final release of this, I will absolutely be, uh, I'll do a new video on it and I'll demonstrate all of the new things that get implemented because I think this is only going to get better. And things like the Raptors I think are going to be pretty spectacular. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Here we go. Baryonyx. So you can see that's a totally different model to the Super Minus. Hello. I love how there's no, it's a flat island with no trees, so you can just see all these dinosaurs just mooching around in the background. That skin for the Rogops is really cool, looks really nice. Alright, there we go, that's this mod, that's everything, every dinosaur certainly, in the mod. And as you can see, they're incredibly high quality, this is a really good one guys. It includes most of the new species from the Jurassic World series and it's ongoing the developers of this mod are very active they're adding more stuff to this all the time they're looking for feedback uh, I know that they're gonna keep on this one and they've said that when Jurassic World 3 comes out they fully intend to add more dinosaurs if there's anything new in Jurassic World 3 they're gonna stick it in this mod so keep an eye on this one as well if you're into playing uh, Operation Genesis if you're still playing it if, if you're not Get hold of a copy, like give it a go, it's brilliant. And download this mod for it, because it's damn awesome. <laughs> so let me know what you thought of this as well. Give me, throw some suggestions in the comments section. What dinosaur would you like to see added to this? Do you have any ideas for alternate skins? Or any preference for other dinosaurs that you think should be introduced into the Jurassic World series? Apart from that, I'd like to say thanks to the Toho Society for giving me the opportunity to play this mod. It's, it's a good one, guys. <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. It's been a bit hectic in the park. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, Site B has been a lot more relaxing. And I'm going to be playing a lot of this in my free time because, I mean, just look at this. I'm going to, I'm going to do another island that's a bit more geographically interesting and see if I can create like a little balanced ecosystem. And that's going to be fun, actually. I can't wait to do that. In the meantime... Thanks for watching this. If you've enjoyed it, stick a like on the video, check out the rest of my channel, subscribe. You know how YouTube works. It's all good fun. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.